Hello guys and uh, welcome to this episode. Uh, in this episode I'm not going to do a computer craft tutorial. Uh, this is just a showcase of a contraption I built. Uh, what it does is uh, basically it's an automatic door uh, opener. So it uses open peripherals uh, sensors and uh, terminal bridges to do some uh, cool stuff. Uh, so at the moment this door is in a mode called disabled so uh, uh, it what it does is basically makes the door disabled so now it won't open for anyone so uh, to change that I can uh, use a chat command so uh, then I just do mode and which mode I want to change to and I have uh, three different modes it's uh, access uh, all and disabled so let's just change it to access so uh, now whenever I look at the door it will open so then I can go through so uh, it's pretty cool and um, one very neat uh, thing about this system that is that it's uh, it's very easy to set up yourself uh, most of the stuff uh, is automatic so uh, it, yeah uh, let's actually let let's just go to um, how we could build the same thing so uh, be right back okay so here I put up a simple uh, thingy just to show how we could build uh, the same system uh, so as you probably already know uh, doors will open with a redstone signal and uh, close when there's no redstone signal okay so uh, I connected this rednet cable to the bottom of this computer and put some redstone torches on top of this uh, rednet to uh, transfer the red redstone through these blocks and hit the doors so that's how the system was made over there uh, so then you need to download the code which uh, does the actual opening and closing of stuff uh, at first here you have a bunch of information about uh, what you require to build this uh, how to set it up and uh, all the commands you have available to you and also some information about the modes and what you actually need to change is uh, here so uh, first the initial state is uh, which uh, state you want to or what is the closing state of your redstone so uh, uh, for us this is true because when we give uh, these redstone torches uh, redstone signal they will turn off and therefore turn these off and then close them and uh, redstone side is which side redstone is on so this is bottom because it's on the bottom uh, case sensitive is basically if you want it to be case sensitive or not when uh, using the access lists door timer is how many seconds you want the doors to stay open when you look at them so uh, one second uh, check door timer is how many seconds you want to wait before you want to check again if you're looking at the door. Uh, config file, you don't really need to do anything about this, this is just where the config file is so when you restart the computer it will still remember all the settings you put in. Door mode is which uh, mode to start the door in so we can uh, change this here if you want to start in another mode. Access list is uh, all the people you want to be able to have access to this door so if you're not on this list you won't be able to go through the door and you don't really need to write that down here there's a command to add uh, people okay so let's start this program okay so first here you get a warning message because I didn't put down a sensor and I didn't put down a thermal glasses bridge uh, you actually only need a sensor for this build to uh, like work but uh, to configure it to be able or yeah to like the first time setup you need a terminal bridge as well to uh, yeah you just need that uh, and they can uh, be placed anywhere you want it will automatically detect 
and these blocks. So we just place it on either side. And I need to uh, link these uh, terminal glasses. So uh, now they're linked. And then I could just press enter. And then I go into door again. So now the program is running and everything is working. So now we see that the door is closed. So let's just make a little stair here. Okay, so uh, to get this door to work now, you have to uh, save uh, like locations. So uh, like a block which you want to look at to be able to open the door. So uh, I could like uh, look at this stone and then uh, save that location. So uh, dollar dollar and save. That's how you save locations. So now, whenever I look at this stone block, the doors will open. So uh, you could have like a secret entrance thingy, uh, and I can remove that again by uh, typing uh, dollar dollar and delete. And uh, now, okay, I have to do that again. Sometimes it uh, doesn't register it, so like that. Now, so now it doesn't open if I look there anymore. You could also uh, read this on the computer here that uh, I got removed and stuff like that. So uh, now instead, let's uh, save uh, on the store. So save here, and then we can save here, and then we can save there, and we can save there. So now we're in all our every block in on this door is saved. So wherever I look, the door will open. And also I could stay or continue looking at the door and it will stay open until I stop looking at the door. And uh, as we did uh, in uh, the code in the beginning of this segment, uh, we set the door timer to one second, so it will close after one second. Uh, you don't have to go back into the code to change that. You can uh, just uh, do a uh, command here. So to do that you do timer and then how many seconds. So let's put it to 3 seconds. So now when I look at the door it will stay open for 3 seconds and then close. Uh, you could also change the mode as I did earlier. So uh, you could just do mode all now everyone will access this door or disabled oops, after right mode first disabled now it doesn't work and access now only people on the access list will access this door and uh, I don't need to go into the code e to add people either, so uh, I could do or add people to the list. I could just type add and the username. So, for example, test user. So, I can't test this obviously, but if test user was there, he should be able to look at the door and go through it. And I could uh, remove test user again, like so. So also if you look at the computer here, you can see that test user was added and he was removed. Uh, I also have an uh, uh, option where you can uh, uh, tog toggle the initial uh, state. So uh, instead of having the doors being closed all the time, I could have them being open all the time. And if you look at them, they will close. So to do that, you could type uh, state with dollars in front. Uh, and this will toggle the thingy. So I first have to look at the door and then it will should register. There, yeah. So now they will stay open and if I look at them they will close for 30 seconds and then open again. And I can obviously change the timer to one second again. Now it will only do it for one second. Uh, you could also uh, change the redstone output side in the middle of the program. So, uh, if for example I wanted to have the door, oops, let's go in here. If I want the door here instead, 
then instead of going into the code I can just type uh, uh, rs side and then the side so this is left so now when I look at these doors nope let's do that again left like that so now when I look at these doors that door will open because these doors have the save spots on them so uh, I could just do save here and now it's yeah let's do that again it didn't register I guess still didn't register there and I can do that the same here so pretty cool system and it's pretty easy to set up so uh, hope you like this system and if you find any bugs or anything then uh, please comment so I can fix them uh, and well see you later